Hello there students! Welcome back to our educational vlog where we delve into a wonderful world of linguistics. Today we're going to embark on a journey to explore the building blocks of language, consonants and vowels. Before we dive in, let's understand what exactly consonants and vowels are. Consonants are letters that represent certain speech sounds, specifically sounds that involve blocking the air before it leaves the mouth, such as with the tongue, lips, or throat. Most letters of the English alphabet are consonants, except for A, E, I, O, and U, which are vowels. Now, let's break it down further. Consonants are categorized by the place and manner of articulation. Place refers to where in the vocal tract the airflow is obstructed, and manner refers to how the airflow is obstructed. Consonants and vowels are the two main types of sounds that make up spoken language. Consonants are sounds produced with a partial or complete obstruction of airflow, while vowels are produced with an open vocal tract. Let's start with some examples of consonants. Penguin starts with letter P, which represents the voiceless bilevial plosive sound P. When we say penguin, we forcefully release air through our closed lips, creating a small burst of sound. Moving on to snake, here we have the letter S, representing the voiceless alveolar fricative sound S. As we say snake, the airflow is partially obstructed at the front of the mouth, creating a hissing sound. Cat features the letter C, which in this case represents the voiceless velar plosive sound K. When pronouncing cat, we block the airflow at the back of the mouth using the tongue, then release it abruptly. Now on to jump. Here we have the letter J representing the voiced post-alveolar affricate sound J. When we say jump, there's a combination of a stop and a fricative sound created by briefly stopping the airflow and then releasing it with friction. Fish showcases the letter F, representing the voiceless labiodental fricative sound F. As we say fish, we gently bring the bottom lip close to the upper teeth, allowing the airflow to create a soft buzzing sound. Next up, Tree. The letter T represents the voiceless alveolar plosive sound T. When pronouncing tree, we momentarily block the airflow with the tongue against the alveolar ridge, then release it abruptly. Zebra contains the letter Z, representing the voice alveolar fricative sound Z. As we say zebra, the airflow is partially obstructed at the alveolar ridge, creating a buzzing sound. Laugh starts with letter L, representing the voice alveolar lateral approximate sound, L. When we say laugh, we allow the airflow to pass along the sides of the tongue, creating a clear L sound. Van features the letter V, representing the voice labiodental fricative sound, V. As we say van, we gently bring the bottom lip close to the upper teeth, allowing the airflow to create a buzzing sound similar to F but voiced. Lastly, shoe starts with the letter combination SH, representing the voiceless post alveolar fricative sound SH. When pronouncing shoe, the airflow is directed over the back of the tongue and out between the tongue and the roof of the mouth, creating a characteristic SH sound. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, let's move on to vowels. Unlike consonants, vowels are characterized by the position of tongue and lips, as well as whether the airflow is obstructed. Vowels are generally produced with an open vocal tract, allowing the sound to resonate freely. Our first word is apple. It demonstrates the sound a. Ah. When you say apple, pay attention to how your mouth is positioned. The sound a ah is produced with an open mouth, and the tongue is positioned low and slightly forward. Say it with me. Apple. Apple. Next up, we have eat, representing the e sound. Notice how your mouth forms a smile when pronouncing this sound. The tongue is high and towards the front of the mouth. Let's try it together. Eat. Eat. Now let's explore ow, which demonstrates the ow sound. When you say ow, your mouth forms a rounded shape and the tongue is positioned mid to the back of the mouth. Give it a try. Say it with me. Ow. Ow. Here we have bird showcasing the uh sound. 
This sound is produced with a slightly open mouth and the tongue in a central position. Say it with me. Bird. Bird. Moving on to dog, which demonstrates the aw sound. When saying dog, your mouth is slightly open and the tongue is low and towards the back of the mouth. Now, let's try it together. Dog. Dog. Now, let's look at igloo representing the E sound. This sound is produced with a relatively relaxed mouth and the tongue in a high and front position. Say it with me. Igloo. Igloo. Our next word is moon, showcasing the oo sound. When pronouncing moon, your lips form a rounded shape and the tongue is high and towards the back of the mouth. Let's try it. Moon. Moon. Next we have cake, representing the A sound. This sound is produced with an open mouth and the tongue mid to front of the mouth. Repeat after me. Cake. Cake. Here we have boat, showcasing the O sound. When saying boat, your mouth is slightly open and the tongue is mid to back of the mouth. Let's say it together. Boat. Boat. Lastly, we have feel, demonstrating the E sound. This sound is produced with a smile and the tongue high and towards the front of the mouth. Repeat after me. Feel. Feel. Now there you have it, the basics of consonants and vowels in linguistics. These fundamental building blocks form the core of every language, shaping the way we communicate and express ourselves. Keep practicing those sounds and soon you'll be speaking with confidence and clarity. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to join us in our next linguistic adventure.